the movies had names like, Blood Quantum, La Melody, and, Run with the Hunted, and were purportedly going to be licensed by Netflix NFLX and HBO. But federal prosecutors and securities regulators claim the real fiction was the bogus licensing agreements that a small-time actor claimed he had secured for the movies, part of a $690 million Ponzi scheme. Zachary Horwitz, a 34-year-old with a few minor acting credits, was arrested on Thursday for running an investment fraud in which his company, 1INMM, one in a million, raised $227 million from more than 200 investors, federal prosecutors and securities regulators said. According to an 18-page complaint filed by Securities and Exchange Commission lawyers in Los Angeles Federal Court, Horwitz misled investors by telling them they were buying the rights to the films that would be resold to Netflix and HBO, even though the licensing deals for the movies and the relationships with the companies did not exist. Horwitz claimed the movie rights would yield rates of return of 45% and he dropped the names of Netflix and HBO to make his pitch seem more plausible. He showed investors fabricated emails and agreements with the companies, but he never obtained or sold any movie rights to Netflix or HBO. When it came time for investors to receive their payments, Horwitz used funds from new investors, the SEC claimed. Some of the investor funds wound up financing Horwitz's cash purchase of a $5.7 million home in the Los Angeles neighborhood of Beverly Wood, $124,000 trips to Las Vegas and $2.5 million for a celebrity interior designer. Horwitz spent $137,000 to charter jets and $54,600 for a luxury watch subscription service. Horwitz has appeared in some movies as an actor under the name Zach Avery. He had roles in movies like, The Devil Below, and, Curvature. According to IMDb, he had an uncredited small role in, Fury. But since 2014 Horwitz had been selling promissory notes to investors for between $35,000 and $1.5 million, mostly with maturities of between 6 and 12 months. He relied on five main investors, who he found through personal relationships and word-of-mouth referrals. Those five principal investors raised more money from 200 people, mostly friends and family. It turned out Horwitz's biggest role was pretending to be a big-time Hollywood dealmaker, telling investors the funds would be used to finance the acquisition of distribution rights to certain movies and to license the rights to Netflix and HBO. He would talk to investors by phone, like in a 2017 call when he told an investor that 1INMM had licensed movies for distribution in Latin America to HBO and Netflix. The investors purchased 34 promissory notes that represented 34 specific movies. By the time the scheme unraveled, the investor was owed $8 million. Horwitz also met with investors face-to-face convincing one individual to back the supposed acquisition of rights to 108 movies through corresponding notes.